<clears throat> I am Sergeant Todd Grossman, an internal affairs investigator of the Palm Beach Gardens Police Department. I'll be conducting an interview of Officer Bethany Guerrero. Florida Statute 112.532, known as the Law Enforcement Officer's Bill of Rights, requires that all interviews for any reason, which could lead to disciplinary action, demotion, or dismissal, be conducted under certain conditions. Okay, so you tell him to keep his hands from his pockets. Correct. And it's about three seconds after that he takes his phone out of his pocket. Mm-hmm. From that point on, you're still advancing towards him. Correct. And he makes no attempt after that to reach back into his pockets. You order him to keep his hands from his pockets. Yes. He takes his hand, takes his, takes his phone out. He's holding it to his he, side. He, does, he didn't listen to the first command. Okay. My job at that point is to keep everybody safe, including him. You felt that he wasn't following your commands, so you felt the need to draw your weapon. Correct. On the ground, I can see right. where his hands are, and then I reholster. Not when so he's on I the do. ground. Not when he's on the ground. From the time you get out of your car to the time you made physical contact with him and handcuffed him, you advanced towards him the entire time. Okay. You felt that he was armed and posed a threat that you needed to escalate to deadly force, but you walked past a vehicle where you had an opportunity to get cover, but you didn't, correct? I mean, yeah, but again, like I said, I, it, it, in my mindset at the time, like that's, that's nerve-wracking. That's uncomfortable. Was it my finest moment? Could I do a better job with de-escalation? Yes, but now I'm, like, I'm worrying what's going on with my own self because I have never felt that before. I've been he's yelling, I did nothing wrong, I'm not the one with the gun, and, and clearly agitated because he's in handcuffs. Mm -hmm. right? But at no point does anybody say, let's check that item, let's check him to see if he has a weapon, and let's figure out exactly why this guy is so pissed that he's handcuffed, alleging he did nothing wrong. I couldn't help but notice when he was talking about the potential discipline that I could be sustaining from this incident. He had also taken the opportunity to let me know that Mr. Gould had been unarrested. I had been humiliated in front of my spouse and two other officers by my supervisor, someone I've known for 20 years. It's just disheartening to hear how funny that was to him.